Awesome. Can you hear me okay? The idea is to just uh, take you through uh, the transformation that we've gone with uh, the, most of the public utilities over the last, say, 12 months. Literally since we had the last camp, actually, or sorry, it was Thing, um, around this time last year. And then also what's happened uh, late last year that some of you might and might not be aware of, uh, maybe particularly some people that are watching this on a recording and aren't so familiar with the ecosystem a bit. Um, so what public utilities are we talking about? Um, I guess the, the big elephants in the room are the IPFSIO and dweb.link gateways. Um, we've also got some new additions like the trustless gateway.link. Um, we've got the delegated routing uh, endpoints that we've started running that we'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, we've got the libp2p bootstrap nodes. The deny list uh, that some of you maybe can get a quick show of hands. I know there's one or two people in the room that run public or private gateways for some customers. Is there, you, are you guys using the bad bits list that we published there? People are cagey. It's all, it's all good. It's, uh, it's a tough, tough gig running a public gateway. Suddenly you get a whole lot of uh, takedown notices and legal threats and all sorts of things. Um, and so then one of the other important ones that we're running is the collab cluster. That's like a nice proof of concept. Got a lot of important IPFS websites pinned there, IPFS tech, the spec sites, the bunch of Wikipedia data sets. And also you could see for some reason Spanish was the, the blessed language. Uh, we've got a Gutenberg mirror there. Um, so yeah, let's um, just dig in a little bit and discuss like some of the changes that have happened uh, since we last talked for IPFSIO and dweb.link. Because uh, these are probably the things that for historical reasons or whatever we want to call it, it's just the state that we're in, in, in terms of being a community today. Um, these are the things that probably affect a lot of folks in the space in some way or another. It's not uncommon that you're using these services. Uh, which we can maybe get into later. And I think the larger discussion we want to have about you know, how do we make that not be a thing in the future. But yeah, so previously you can see here we're running about 150 nodes to make the gateway road. These were gigantuan machines costing a lot, a lot of money. Um, now successfully skimmed that down all the way to around about 30 nodes, which is like huge, super awesome. Um, sadly, how that was made possible was largely because we did a kind of deal with uh, our friends slash the devil at Cloudflare, and they decided to they decided they didn't want to be uh, running their uh, IPFS gateways any longer for just for reasons, um, and so they approached us and asked us if we'd be willing to handle the traffic that they didn't want to serve anymore. Um, so we said yes, and then they were able to help us out with like providing some service that made makes it more feasible for us to continue to offer the gateways today in a kind of more effective uh, uh, overhead wise, also monetarily. But it's also, you know, it has a lifespan because I guess, you know, the goal of this technology and this ecosystem isn't to centralize more things under the umbrella of a big tech co, right? I think we can probably all agree that's like not where we want to leave things. So, yeah. Um, but there have been some other good side effects of that, like having a, um, a centralized uh, global cache the way that Cloudflare presents means that we can get super great caching hit rate there. So you can see getting about 92 percentile on a 30 day average, which is a maze. Um, previously, we, you can see we weren't getting anything close to that, more like 60, maybe 70 percent on a good month. Um, and probably most importantly, like one of the really big things that maybe some folks will be interested to talk more about is that we changed out the implementation that we're using to serve the gateways. Um, and that was some work that uh, Hector uh, spearheaded and built a new purpose-built implementation, Rainbow, that was just for the purpose of serving gateways. Um, so it's got some opinionated choices there that make it a bit more nimble. It's got better implementation with the uh, bad bits list as well, so not having to do that separately. And yeah, it makes a lot of things possible for us. Um, so I was alluding to the fact, and I guess uh, we'll get to talk about this a bit more in the, in the session that will follow after this. And maybe also um, when I'll, I'll stop rambling, we can maybe have like Q&A if people want to talk about any of this a little bit ahead of that, um, subject to scheduling, we'll see. But one of the two things that we've been 
working towards already as like a kind of bet to try and divert the dependence away from the gateways is to create these two uh, projects here. So we've got the delegated routing endpoints. You can see a delegated IPFS dev. Um, so what are they doing? They're helping to facilitate peer connections, routing, and like name resolution. So you, you can run like a lightweight client, you're not having to talk to the DHT yourself. And then this is facilitating like different kinds of conversations. It's also, of course, helping where like you've got connection problems and being able to help connect you with other peers that you might not have been able to do like natively. And then the other one is the trustless gateway. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, that was actually some work that kind of landed out of all the fun and turmoil that happened with the um, Saturn slash uh, RIA project. Uh, rest in peace. And this is, again, another kind of bet. So it's a gateway that only speaks raw and car responses. And so then if you've got a client that can do the verification for you, then it's like a nice way of not sending like a serialized response and having to trust that someone's not giving you some not good data, so to speak. Just wanted to remind uh, some people about this. Maybe there's some people, I know there's like a lot of people here are friends and uh, in the community and uh, close collaborators and whatnot, but maybe for some people on the on the website, on the watching the video or something like that after the fact, uh, I think it's good to remind them and let them know that, yeah, like a thing happened, not really PL anymore, so got to chill out and uh, do the, the whole sales pitch. Um, so yeah, anyway, you can check out our terrible website if you uh, want to hear more about that or find us outside.